Welcome to two examples on how to determine the solution to a system of equations when we have an augmented matrix in reducer echelon form. So we're told a system of equations is written as an augmented matrix, which is row reduced to this form here. What is the solution to the original system of equations? Well, looking below, we can see the variables of the system are x, y, and z. And because we're not told which columns represent the coefficients of which variable, it's typical to assume they're in alphabetical order, which means the x coefficients are in column one, the y coefficients are in column two, and the z coefficients are in column three. And remember the fourth column would be the constants. And every row in this matrix represents an equation. Looking at this first row, notice how the coefficient of x is one and the coefficients of y and z are both zero. So this first row tells us one x equals negative one or just x equals negative one. Looking at the second row, notice the coefficients of x and z are zero, and the coefficient of y is one. So the second row tells us one y equals one, or just y equals one. Looking at the third row, the coefficients of x and y are both zero, the coefficient of z is one. So this third row tells us one z equals six, or z equals six, which is the solution to our system of equations x equals negative one, y equals one, and z equals six. So let's look at a second example. Again, a system of equations is written as an augmented matrix where the coefficients of the unknown variable b were put in column one. So the coefficients of b are in column one. The coefficients of d are in column two. And the coefficients of m are in column three. So notice how for this question, it's much more clear which coefficients of which variable are in a particular column. And again, we're asked to determine the solution to the original system of equations. So again, each row represents an equation. Looking at the first row, notice how the coefficients of d and m are both zero. So this first row represents the equation one b equals negative four, which means b equals negative four. Looking at the second row, the coefficients of b and m are both zero. So the second row gives us the equation one d equals negative three, or d equals negative three. And looking at the third row, the coefficients of b and d are both zero. The coefficient of m is one. So the third row gives us the equation one m equals negative two, or m equals negative two. This is the solution to the original system of equations. I hope you found this helpful.